Hello. It's raining here in Charlotte. I'm on my way to my temporary job. You know, I fill up my bank account as much as I possibly can. Put myself in a position to stay winning. Making that easy money, so figure why not I can work on my business and you know make some extra money as as well uh, but my goal is to not have to work for anybody ever ever in life and build generational wealth I am the ambassador of my bloodline I was created to break generational curses so I definitely believe that and I feel so fulfilled now that I found this company and um, learning about this business that I can't turn back I can't stop I won't quit so it's not an option gray hairs are just disrespectful though So when I wake up, I usually go and um, take my Nutriburst. I didn't bring my um, my tripod so I can record it. So I gotta get better at that. I had some brew tea, so I drank the last bit of that. I don't have any more gallons of water, so I have to buy some of that. Uh, it feels so wonderful to wake up to quiet, peace and quiet in my house. That's a wonderful thing. It's so cold and rainy. <coughs> I had, I can't even call it like a cold or anything. I had a stuffy nose, a slight stuffy nose. It wasn't even bad, nothing running or anything. And um, now it kind of dropped, you know, how it transitions and drop from your nose and either tries to get into your your chest. I don't think it's going to make it, you know, cough up a little crap, but um, doesn't have any weird color or anything. So that's great. But I believe, you know, it's all thanks to TMC. <laughs> Thanks to my Nutriburst, my detox tea, my CBD tea. Because my grandkids keep colds because they go to daycare. Be drinking after me, kissing me. And that's all I got? Please. <laughs> I'm keeping my Nutriburst, my NRG, and my tea. Dag nab it right. many drops sometimes I reluctant to take it I don't want to relax too much and you know I work night shift so I don't want to be like <laughs> and lose my job that's some easy money right there so and um, I don't want to mess that up but um yeah so I guess I'll talk to you guys a little bit of why I joined TLC. Now, about four years ago, I moved to Charlotte from Durham, North Carolina. And, um, I don't know, social media, um, one of my Facebook friends, I believe, um, I guess she had got into the business and, you know, said something about five, losing five pounds in five days with tea or whatnot. And so I tried the tea and whatnot, but I, I don't really remember, you know, what what went on. I, you know, I don't know if I, <laughs> I mean, I joined the business evidently because I had the website or whatever, or, you know, whatever. I don't even remember. I, I wasn't paying too much attention. I was in the, in the mindset of trying to get a job, you know, trying to get out of this call center because 
cost on her life is definitely not for me not that one i came for one at duke that was totally different that was love i come here and that was like i was on a slave ship or something i mm. <laughs> it was like okay that's not for me um but anyway get back to that you know whatever i couldn't tell you about it i don't know if i lost five pounds in five days i don't know if i finished the tea i, I really don't i couldn't tell you so skipping um to present day um i made my plan and i'm a planner so i was gonna come to charlotte get my cna license reinstated um, i was gonna get a job at the hospital knowing you know i could get some overtime and whatnot and um i was gonna go back to school and get a job that you know at least paid me fifty thousand dollars you know a year we thinking that's big money well, at least enough, you know, to get you a nice, you know, to be able to buy a house and a decent car, put some money in the bank, and go on vacation, you know, do your summer vacation or whatnot, because I love taking my family on a week vacation to the beach. So I put my plan in motion, went ahead and got my CNA license reinstated. You know, it's, you know, a little difficult getting into the hospital. So, you know, I put in the applications and I got fired from the call center. <laughs> uh, got another um, job doing, on the phone, it was like a call center, um, another like call center type situation. Um, wasn't as bad as the last one, but yeah, and still, I don't being told what to do, what to do, and how to do it, and all that wonderful stuff, so, <clears throat> so, um, next thing, I got the job, um, at the hospital here in Charlotte, uh, after my, I don't even think I came out of my, um, orientation time and I was getting overtime and stuff like that regular checks was just bad because they don't pay us you know so I was you know getting my overtime getting those decent looking checks and so my next plan was to fluctuate tonight so I can go to work I mean I could go to school in the daytime because those nighttime classes at you know the community colleges or whatever they're not designed to you know get you a job that pays you you know any upwards of 50,000 you know you got to take those classes that they give in the daytime like I was going to do the cardiovascular tech program I had to decide if I was going to do invasive or non-invasive and um so I was at first thinking about you know the invasive and then you know I started thinking about the non-invasive and the non-invasive is the um, ultrasound so you're taking ultrasounds of the heart so you know I was gearing towards that um, I applied to the school um, I was on my way to you know taking the T's and well, studying for the T's you know setting up the um, time to take the T's test and that was stressful a little bit because that test is from what I heard a beast and me studying for it was a beast and working and all that wonderful but I was like yeah I'll die for like two years in order to you know accomplish that I'm used to you know always finding you know a school to go to or trying to learn something new and I, I don't like being stuck feeling that way anyway um so I took anatomy and physiology course. I know that was something that I needed because when I went to college, which I haven't finished, um, I have like 30 credit hours to go. I didn't have to take my science classes. It was a night um, thing and I went to class at night and it was for like adults, working adults and everything. So <clears throat> anyway, so I took the um, anatomy and physiology and um, throughout that, you know, still thinking and 
do I want to do this or is there anything else that I that they're offering that I would you know want to do because then I had I started thinking like fifty thousand dollars like really isn't all of that much and then I'm gonna only be able to make fifty thousand dollars you know a year or whatever they're gonna be offering um there's no overtime you know option for overtime because it's like a day job you know once five six o'clock hits like they shut down and going home and everybody's okay with their fifty thousand dollars you know a year and they can sit i started looking like what am i gonna do what am i gonna do and so long story short i was searching and lo and behold TLC pops into my brain somehow some way um, and I just say that it's meant to be me and TLC are meant to be um, I'm learning I am a baby in this whole you know business entrepreneur uh, everything that you can think of or call it or everything that it is I am so new to it even Instagram like I'm learning Instagram because I had an Instagram page I never used it I I wasn't into you know following celebrities or anything um, I was working like I didn't I'm like sometimes I feel like I was living under a rock or something you know um, I'm at old school at heart you know I'm an 80s baby we used to we didn't care about electronics we went outside we walked everywhere we wanted to go you know it was none of this uh you ain't going outside the people ain't going outside are you spending i mean like we had little video games the atari and you know the, the nintendo and stuff like that but that was like rainy days or when you had it's too hot outside you know what i'm saying so other than that we was out and about so whatever so I started searching on the internet. I found my sponsor, Tanisha Adjo. Um, I love her because she's hardcore, and and I love that about her. And even though I'm hard-headed, and I mean, she's been through it, and a lot of people go through it. You know, we're scared. You know, we don't want to, you know, talk to people, or it's hard for her, so we pick and choose, or whatever the case may be. You know, everybody knows the, the song and dance and whatnot, so anyway so i signed up um thinking yeah you know my nurses i see them drinking red bulls monster drinks and you know everybody talking about you know losing weight i thought oh this it's gonna be easy well not easy but you know i got people here that need you know these products <laughs> okay <laughs> So I joined, um, I'm happy, I'm learning, I'm, I'm growing, um, the best is yet to come, I'm never going to have to, I'm not going to be broke another day in my life, I'm going to be wealthy, not just rich, but wealthy, like, there's no other options, there's no other options, I'm going to on multiple business and have multiple streams of income i'm going to get into real estate i'm i'm gonna do all of it is there's no reason why i shouldn't and i won't so i think that kind of sums up why i got into tlc a little rambling but um yeah and i'll keep you guys updated if you have any questions, any comments, you know, let me know. And I'll post this all on my social media and on my YouTube. And again, I'm brand new, so yeah, I'm good.